What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with another Cooking with Friends edition with my girl Azure. And we are going to make today for you guys Tuscan chicken mac and cheese. Mmm. Say what up to everybody. Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to be here with Doug. He's one of the many people I used to work with, and he just. I'm just Imagine. awesome. Well, that, but he's also such a good soul, so I'm really excited to be here with him. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. You're welcome. So we got a surprise guest in here. As you saw, we got a ninja forecourt that you guys know, one well, of my subscribers know I got the other day. So we're just going to, um, the recipe um, calls it to um, brown it in your pressure cooker or mm -hmm. on your stovetop, but we're going to air fry it. Why not? All right, go ahead and put it in there. So we've already coated these with some garlic, salt, pepper, some smoked paprika. That's right. And parsley. And we let them tenderize for about, um, about 10 minutes About so. 10 minutes while we were running our mouths. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, I could have air fried it in the foodie. Um, but I just wanted to give this um, little four quarter shot. Plus it fits all of our little tenderloins. Right. right. It was just sitting there, it was like, I want to do something, I want to do something. <laughs> the air uh, fryer that I have is a Power Air Fryer Elite, so I'm getting schooled on this nice Ninja 4 quart. <laughs> cool. I don't know how long, I'm going to, uh, I guess I'll, we'll do, I'll do, I'll, do, I'll do 14 minutes and flip at 7, let's just see. Okay. Since it's our first time with it, we're going to hit start, oh, I hit power. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, so we'll go to 12, 14, I mean, and we're going to hit start. And we're going to do seven minutes on one side and then and flip. Seven, and flip and then see what, how, it may, it may not require another seven, but we'll, we'll just test it out. Because I just got this yesterday, so some of my subscribers wanted to see how this works, so this is kind of a sneak preview. I'm going to do a video on it um, separately tomorrow, but I just figured I'd throw some action in there right now. How many watt? Okay. Yeah, it's 1,550. Yeah, this is a four quart, so it doesn't need all that many watts. Your your air fryer is probably like 1,700 watts, but it's it a is, what it's size? It's big. It? It's a bullet. It's like five and a half quarts, yeah. and it's the height of the cabinet. Oh, okay. So I had to move some stuff out of the way, but I got it in that pretty turquoise. Oh, nice. So it's cool to look at anyway. Nice. So you're in the air fryer group. Yes. And you're in the foodie group. So how do you like the air fryer group? Have you? I love it. Um, have you found any tips yeah, or anything? I often, what I'll do is search. If I'm frying something or if I'm cooking something that day, I'll do a search to see what other people did okay. in the group. Yeah. But I'm not too good about posting what I do because... I um, sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> because... Um, I'm not necessarily going to have time to respond. After I eat, then I got stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> Action wanted to say hey to you guys. Sup? Hey. You guys, we use smoked paprika on here. It calls for regular paprika, but the smoked paprika is going to add a really good flavor yeah, to that mac and cheese. Good it is there. the bomb. Yes. All right, guys, we did a total of 10 minutes and we are done. Look at that. They're nice. beautiful. Mm. Beautiful cutlets. <laughs> All right, so we're chopping up the onion. Now, do you want to use the you want to use the chopper, or are you gonna cut them manually? Well, Doug, I really love your silicone bladed uh, <laughs> knife right? here from Costco. I do love it, but right? I really wanted to try that little chop chop choppy thing. Actually, from from Sam. So, all right, so let okay. me let me get that. Then. All right. Hey, you guys. We are putting some sea salt in our water. We're getting ready to do our noodles and yeah. the. Um, the Ninja Foodie. Ninja Foodie. That's right. And See this it. is going to boil our noodles al dente because yes. nobody likes a mushy mush. Yes, so we're going to do it for three minutes. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, put this to pressure here. We're going to hit pressure. We're going to be on high. And like I said, we're just going to do three minutes because we want it. What'd you say before? Al dente. That's that bougie stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that just means no soggy noodles. I know, I know. <laughs> But you actually should have heard her the first time she said it. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> That's the Grey Poupon. I don't even know if I right. pronounced that right. No, you didn't. Okay, it's sorry. Okay, <laughs> All right, so we got the pull and chop out, guys, um, from QVC. 
Um, and I know she saw this in my video, so she wanted to give it a try. So we're going to give it a try. So we put it, we filled it halfway with onions so that she would be able to have a, a easier time to pull it. So go ahead and try it. Okay. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> and I love this because now my fingernails and fingertips don't have to smell like garlic and um, onions. I hate that crap. <laughs> You know what? Tell tell that point again because we were just talking off camera. But say what you just said before. Okay, I was just saying that um, having the ninja foodie and all that stuff, it helps to keep your hair from getting frizz because there's not a bunch of steam everywhere, okay. um, and I'm not getting hot or sweating. So if you were trying to do a full meal, which is it essentially what we're doing, you wouldn't have to worry about all of that. You are cooking without your kitchen getting hot. Cool. Enough onion. And the next time we do this and you show me dumping, let's get a real spoon. Oh, uh, so don't be like that. I'm sorry. No, just do it like this. You a dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you did. She said all them shiny gadgets and I got a plastic spoon. What is he doing? Don't let the double use you. Don't, don't do it. All right, you guys. Uh-oh. We're slicing the chicken. Well, I'm having her do it because y'all already know I don't know how to cut worth the hell. Yeah, and I need a knife. I mean, I need a fork. I need a fork. Oh, I'll get you a fork. Um, get you a fork. These towels are on. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And that's a real metal fork this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you for the real you're, metal fork. You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> that was really good. Uh, we, are, we are pressure right now, so... In three minutes, we should be, how will the uh, noodles be? They'll be al dente, which means not soggy. <laughs> hey, you guys, Doug is picking on me in my, in my um, wordsmithing. Bo bougie vocabulary. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what's the other word? You, what's the other thing you said? There's a bechamel sauce that we'll be working on. After bechamel? Can you spell it? Bechamel. It's B-E-C-H. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're just waiting for the um, noodles. And we use, um, actually, actually, let me show you that. Hold on. I only can find these at Walmart, y'all. These are jumbo elbows. I love making mac and cheese with jumbo elbows. It's the bomb. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to show you that it, it. This is the only Walmart is the only place I find these. So, I did a funny story about this. I've never seen these before, but we're gonna put these. What are these? Sun dried tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Sun dried tomatoes. So I got this at a local supermarket called Food Line, and I just so happened to see like one of the managers there. And this wasn't even on the aisle. This was like below the onions, like in a <laughs> compartment. I never would have found this. If I looked in the aisles, it wasn't there. It was like hiding under the onions. So, yeah, if you don't find this in your um, supermarket, just ask somebody because it's probably somewhere probably no one knows, like, where the gum is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that our noodles are done, I'm going to put it in sear saute mode. And uh, yeah. All right, so what are we doing? So right now we're adding the butter. You put the fryer, the ninja. Sear mode on. Yeah, there. sear mode. Stove top. So we're adding uh, butter so that we can saute the butter, okay. the garlic, and the sun dried How much tomatoes. butter are we putting in? We're putting in four teaspoons or two tablespoons. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm sorry, six teaspoons is two tablespoons. Okay. My apologies. I will put it in the description. Alright. So we're just melting that all down. And then I'm getting ready to add in my um, onions. It called for two yellow onions and garlic. I have to look up and see what's going on. Okay, I'm adding uh, one whole onion. The recipe calls for two, but we did one. And uh, six cloves of garlic. We're using this uh, gourmet garlic spread. Yeah. And one teaspoon of this. And that's my fault, y'all. I, I thought I had some garlic, but it's okay. that's all I had. One teaspoon of this equals one clove of garlic. So we're doing six cloves. So I'm doing six teaspoons of garlic. Plus, I like garlic, so I'll probably add some more. Okay, we did that. And we're going to saute it. What y'all doing? Playing laser tag? 
<laughs> I'm gonna let that go for about two minutes. Okay. Then we're gonna pour in the white wine and then we're gonna reduce that down and simmer for five minutes. Okay. So dope. So that's chicken broth. How much are we putting in there? We're putting in two and a half cups of chicken broth. Okay. And then we are putting how much cream? Oh, we'll get to that. Okay. Once then. you dump it in, we'll, we'll, we'll just go step by step. Gotcha. I think those look good. I, I not, by the way, I, I put it the sear down to a low because I don't want to burn nothing. Okay. And so now what we're going to do is add in a third of a cup of white wine. Doesn't okay. matter what kind of white wine you use, it did not specify. So I'm adding that now. Okay. And then we're going to reduce that down to for five minutes. And when it says reduce, reduce means you're going to cook the alcohol off. Um, until you don't see as much water. Okay. Set timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Yeah, smell that garlic. Mm-hmm. And that mm. white wine is reducing. I mean, gee whiz. <laughs> gee whiz. <laughs> <laughs> She's Doug so is funny. picking on me, y'all, so what funny. I say. Yeah, I love the way. <laughs> You're so Where are you from, anyway? I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina. Are you? I am. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something like Texas or something. No, I, ooh, and I can't stand Texas. Why? I don't like girls from Texas. Uh, they are women really so beautiful extra. there. I'd have like fifteen kids. And that's like. what they think. Mm. That's, and see, that's my point. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> you said fifteen. All right, we're adding the sun-dried tomatoes, which I don't know what those are, but that's okay. Well, and we um, you need nine ounces, okay. but I think you can modify how much you want in your sun-dried tomato. I mean, how much sun-dried tomatoes you want in your dish. Okay. But uh, we put in a bag of three ounces, but the recipe calls for nine. Okay. Cool. Okay. We were supposed to soak the um, what are those tomatoes sun in your sun and oil yeah. uh, before we put it in, but oh well. It's okay. We're adding the chicken broth and that will soften it up in a moment. And I add a pinch of oil in there just now anyway. Mm -hmm. Probably less. Alright, we just added three tablespoons of flour. Alright, so we're going to do two cups of chicken broth right now. It's smelling so awesome right now. It really does. Mmm. Make you want to slap somebody. I'm saying, I'm gonna slap you, Doug. Yeah. Can I slap you, Doug? <laughs> yeah, like the song say, "You slap me, I slap you back." <laughs> nah, it's okay. You can slap. Me. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> we got it on medium right now, and it's bubbling. And what? since it's Halloween, bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Oh my lord. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Mm. Right, so we're going to add some salt and pepper. We also added some Italian herb seasoning. Um, we had an all-in-one seasoning and then we just added uh, basil to that. Yeah, so, so basically we added some basil to complete seasoning. Because we didn't have any, it called for Italian seasoning. And I, I ain't find none of that in my supermarket, so it's all good. You see how thick that is, Doug? Mm-hmm. That's what your flour did, people. It made that just so pretty and thick. We'll be adding the milk soon. It kind of reminds me of the women in Texas. They're thick like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like thick women, yeah, y'all? Yeah, of course. And thick sauces. Right. <laughs> All right, so how much um, half and half we're adding now? We're adding two cups of half and half. Okay. It calls for two and a half cups of uh, your cream, your milk, or your... Uh, half and half, but um, we're we at only two had cups. two. Yeah, we only had two. I and bought it, one of them small little containers. Yeah. So. And it's okay to modify your milk. And I mean, you can always add more creaminess right. with your cheese or whatever. I do have heavy whipping cream, so if yeah. we need to add more, we'll just throw some of that we'll in. We'll add more, but mm -hmm. right now we're good. Yeah. We're going to let that cook now. All right. I'll show you them bubbles. Mmm, well now we really wish you had smell o vision. Mm -hmm. It smells like Olive Garden somewhere. It or or, or someone's Italian grandmama or somewhere. It does. And we're just waiting for it to thicken up a little. And then it tells us to add the noodles. But I don't want to add them until this gets thick. So it doesn't give you a specified time on how long to uh, cook your milk, your cream. 
but until it thickens up, and then we'll add in uh, the rest of the accoutrements. <laughs> That's another. Yo, I just took a spoonful. And she's about to take one now. Oh my gosh. It's good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Should I duck? Mmm. You about to slap somebody? Almost. Almost. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna. I mean that. It. That's good. That's good right there. Yeah, y'all. That's good. You put some fettuccine in there or something. I'm telling you. Mm. It's delicious. You really could just put your noodles in there with that and sauce. Boom. And boom. There's pow, a shrimp pow. in there? Mm. Yes. Mm. Even though I can't even eat it. But I, it, it just it just look like it. it even does. though I don't even eat it. Mm. Are right, we ready for the noodles. Okay, so now we are putting in our dry noodles. We boiled these in the pressure cooker. Or we put them in the pressure cooker. Yeah. Uh-oh. There we go. Yeah, they were sitting for a while. And so they were sitting for a while. So we just got to mix it up. Yep, and then we're going to add in our cheeses. So our cheeses are, uh, let me give you the... Sharp cheese. Yeah, sharp cheddar, Parmesan. And mozzarella. And mozzarella. We're going to do one cup of uh, Parmesan, three-fourth cups of mozzarella, but we only have one cup bag, so we're probably going to do one cup, and a half a cup of cheddar. Cool. All right, three cups of spinach. Three cups of spinach, you guys. Baby spinach, and they want that to wilt. So we still have the, uh, it on, uh, what did you call this setting on the? Oh, uh, sear. We still on have it on, on sear. On medium, yeah. On medium. Yeah. So we're just going to stir this around until our spinach starts to wilt. Yeah. And we'll show you that. Or if you want, I could, because it won't la allow me to close the lid in sear mode, but I can turn it off and close the lid and let it mm -hmm. cook down. Or you would just let it down. Okay. Mm -hmm. cool. We're going to let it do it just like this, because this is enough heat. Okay. Parmesan cheese. One cup of Parmesan cheese. All right. Ooh. And you are going to turn your stove off um, after your spinach has wilted. Yeah, let me do that then. Because you're using your heat from the pot. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to add in your um, three-fourth cups of mozzarella cheese. All right. We're going to put in the mozzarella. So it calls for three-fourths of a cup of mozzarella. But this is an eight ounce bag of mozzarella, so you can just use the bag. And we just use some regular craft. You're good at measurements, aren't you? Just a smidge. Okay. Me and Siri be figuring it out. And you know, I, I'll let Siri live because I, I don't really use Apple products in my house. Oh my God. Um, yeah. Why not? No, we're Samsung. Okay, boo. No, no, no. Y'all are good for your screens, Sorry. just the visuals. Um, Thank no. you. Just the Rotten visuals. Apple. Rotten Apple. Just the visuals. Rotten Apple. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do, what, a half a cup of... Cheddar cheese. We're probably going to add more than that. Yeah. Uh, I did add a little bit more than that. You can use any 8-ounce bag, you guys. 8 ounces equals a cup. You can use any 8-ounce bag so that you don't really have to use a measuring cup. And you see how sticky or how cheesy this is? If you want to thin this out a little bit, you can add cream. But we're just going to keep stirring. Mm. Now, we added some more milk. Because we wanted the stock, the sauce to be creamier, yeah, less uh, stiff. It was a little stiff. Yeah. But y'all hear that? That's the happy sound, Lord. That's when it when it sounds like that. That means it's right. It is. <laughs> Look at that. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm. Go ahead, show them. I love this thing. <laughs> they made it for me. I love it. Anybody want to get it for Christmas? <laughs> hey guys, so we're finished. And there we go. That's mm. what we were looking for. We were looking for it to slide a little bit with a little bit of stif stiffness. Mm. And you see your wilted baby spinach, your sun dried tomatoes. Mm. We'll be adding the chicken next. Mm. All right. Man, we just took a quick bite of them noodles with the cheese on it. Oh, I, oh my goodness. I'm just saying. It's right. savory, y'all. Mm. Last step is adding in your chicken. You can toss it or you can uh, blend it in or put it on top. It all depends on how you want to eat it. Yeah, we're going to blend it. We're going to blend. We're going to blend it. We like blending. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then we're going to plate it. Yep. I'm going to have you take a bite first. Okay. I'm putting in a bowl for you. All right. 
And you got, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. What are you going to say? Um, you can add more chicken if you'd like. Yeah. Um, of course, I think you know, I, you can modify. Do, I did four regular size yeah, chicken four breasts. Yeah, four breasts. Yeah. Uh, tenderloins. So you can add as much chicken if you want. If you want more meat, you know, you can modify this to how you want it. Mm -hmm. But we are getting ready to plate. Yep. Hey, you guys. Shout out to Doug's Kitchen Gadget Group on Facebook. We're going to give you a shout out. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Okay, guys. We're just sprinkling some parsley for color. Recipe calls for it. If you don't like parsley, you don't have to do this step. But last step, sprinklets. <laughs> All right, we're going to have you just take a bite. Okay, you guys. Let's see how it is. Give me a piece of chicken. Mm. That's good? Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yeah. The flavor is popping off of everything, and your chicken is still tender. It is not dry. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Look My at God, that, y'all. It tastes so good. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Mmm. Look at that, y'all. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now, you know I got to give y'all a bite first. Yes, Lord. And how you doing over there? Finishing up my plate. Mmm. <laughs> I know it. Just finishing up my plate. It, it, it's just, this is just completely awesome, man. You guys got to try this. Take this big old bite. Mm -hmm. Take it. Smell it first. You got it? Don't lick the screen. <laughs> lick it if you have to. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Man, that's so good. So creamy. Very savory. You got to try this out. Like I said, I'm going to put the link in the description of everything we did. Because I just follow the recipe anyway. Mm -hmm. But this is good, man. But this is one of those recipes that if you cook anyway, mm -hmm. after you do it one time, you can doctor this up however you want to. Man, you could just follow your nose making this again. Mm -hmm. Just like, oh, it needs something good. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I need some more onion. Mm -hmm. No, no, I need some more salt. Yep. I mean, this this is awesome, you guys. Really, I mean, I feel like I'm in a restaurant. I feel like I could charge people for this. This is really good. It's very delicious. So, anyway, well, I'm going to finish this up and uh, kick it. So, I'm going to leave a link in the description to my um, Ninja Foodie group. It's called Ninja, Ninja Foodie Nation. Uh, we have about 1,000 members. I think we just hit 1,000 members, y'all. So give it up to me. Woo! -hoo, woo -hoo. <laughs> Shout out to all my members. I put a link in the description to that group. And like I said, everything I did will be in the uh, description. And it was fun doing this, man. Thank you so much for joining me. You're welcome. I enjoyed myself. Doug. That was awesome. You know, before we go, give them, give them a, give them a Doug moment. Oh yeah. Well, Doug and I used to work together, and uh, we have a very famous HBCU here in our town. It's called A&T, North Carolina A&T State University, Aggie Pride. Uh huh. Aggie Pride. And uh, Doug used to throw um, homecoming parties. Mm -hmm. So this was my first time at his homecoming party. Whole street was packed with cars. Mm. I really never saw Doug that mm. night, <laughs> but the party was. Awesome. How much people do you think was in my house? Oh, there was well over 250 people wow. in the house. In my house. And that's not counting the people that were still beside their cars, mm. trying to find a space, mm. or getting ready to walk up. Mm. But he's just such a good guy. Ah. And such a good dad. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He's a very awesome son. So, Doug is all warm fuzzies. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, you're an awesome mom. You have an awesome family. Thank you. And I thank you for bringing your son over to play with AJ. That's cool. You're welcome. AJ's a sweetie. Yeah. She pinched his cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> all right, y'all. We out. And enjoy. Um, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Peace.